this weekend uh, I was down at the Oxford Ceramics Fair and I managed to break a tankard made by Doug Fitch belonging to my friend James who I was staying with and Samantha his partner and so I thought I'd better make a replacement I also seem to be in the habit of breaking things because as you'll notice I'm on my small wheel because I've managed to break the big one. I was uh, trying to cut a large plate off with a wire and I've uh, put a bit too much force on the wheel and it's tripped something. So. to wait until I can get it repaired. Now this is a red earthenware tankard. Sorry about the lighting. Underneath, uh, underneath the light, it's right above my head here. I keep making a shadow on the pot so I'll try not to get shadow on it. Tankard is quite big. That's this one being quite large. Just shrink quite a bit this clay. Keep bubbling it there. Just a big cylinder really this, it's going to have a nice big chunky handle on it. Toby in the back here in the background maybe. He's five months old now and decided he needs to bark at everything. Leaves rustling, people emptying the bin. Uh, kiddies walking past in the street. Neighbours walking past. Finishing this off a little bit at the bottom here because I don't want to turn it. Just, just thumb it off when it's done. There we have it. <coughs> okay, I'm just going to put a handle on this. Um, big tankard here. You can see me. Just a wedge of clay. And flatten the end of it. it. Needs to be quite big. But maybe not quite that big.
try and pull it. You know, I had no fast rules to doing this. People are better at it than me, but I started off myself. I started off getting the narrowness that I need, and then it's still quite thick there. And then we thin it out this way. Back to narrowness. So it's starting to taper. I like it quite, quite wide there and meaty. So you've got something to grab hold of. And then we'll thin it out. Pull this to the end of here. Okay, here we're going to, um, the handle's firmed up now quite well, and I'm uh, just going to add some white slip here, just to brush on white slip. It's quite nice because it, uh, it picks up the, let me get my hand inside, it might be easier, picks up the ridges. Of the throwing lines. See it there? Right, that's enough. More round back to sit it on so we don't have to handle it too much. Maybe I'll flick up the handle there and there. Okay, what I've got here is a crazy dog running around my feet. It is, this is a white slip, the same white slip but with copper carbonate in. And this is the white slip with copper oxide in. So while this is still wet, I'm just going to, oops, spill it everywhere. I'm going to run it around here. Let it run on. Run down the handle quite nicely there. Right. And for this one, a small slip trailer. I'm going to pour some mess in here. twice that way. That's it done. James Hazelwood's tankard to replace the one that I broke the other day. <laughs>